and then bang, you got your position, you got your trailing stop locked and loaded, ready to go. A lot of traders love this, they can manage trades according to symmetry price action. All right, let's go over two ways you can set a trailing stop on your MT5 platform. First way is just by clicking on your open position. So let's go ahead and let's open a buy order, dollar, yen, five minute chart. We just went long. Let's go down to our trade management screen. Go ahead and give that a click. Right click on your open position. Then you're gonna go right up to trailing stop. You can choose five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 points, or you can enter a custom. Uh, let's just go ahead and put this in uh, for 55 pips because we're gonna take a position here on this long. And then bang, you've got your position. You've got your trailing stop locked and loaded, ready to go. That's the first way. All right, the second way is just by doing this manually. A lot of traders love this. They can manage trades according to symmetry, price action, and stay incredibly current instead of just having a static uh, stop loss there. So dollar, yen, five minute chart. Let's go ahead and place another buy order. Okay, there we are officially long. So how can we manage our stop? Right here, we can do it manually. We go right up to our entry and just drag and drop. We can put the stop loss down here to begin with. Maybe as the trade goes positive, we can move it up. So that right there is the second way to manage your trailing stops. That's the manual fashion.